Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a little bit of Premier League Soccer 2019-20 Panini Prism English Premier League Soccer 6 box half case pick your team number 4 and big thanks to all these folks who picked their teams looks like Mark Madsen with that triple last spot mojo getting Arsenal Newcastle United and the Wanderers the Wolverhampton Wanderers now break 4 is the second half of the case so remember, we marked those number four the last time we did this break. And away we go. Good luck, everybody. I did see, I think I saw one more case in the back. I don't know what Nick's plans are for those. But keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com for more. We have select old select soccer on the site, too. It's a little blast from the past if you want to get into that. All right. Good luck, everybody. Scores for today. Premier League action usually happens mostly on Saturdays. And they usually and they started doing Friday night football. They, I think they have like one match on Friday and then one match on Monday. Today, on a 70-minute goal by Wijnaldum, Liverpool, that's my club, Liverpool beat Sheffield away. 1 0. I had them at minus one and a half goals. Liverpool they didn't quite get there. Uh, Bournemouth and West Ham United. They drew 2 2. Uh, Aaron Cresswell in the 74, 74th minute with the, uh, with the equalizer. Aston Villa and Burnley fell even. McGinn with a 79th minute goal to put Aston Villa ahead 2-1. And then just a couple minutes later, Chris Wood, I think it's Chris Wood, with an 81st minute goal to, to level it. The equalizer. Aston Villa and Burnley drew even 2-2. Chelsea shut out Brighton, Hove Albion 2-0. Crystal Palace beat Norwich 2-0. Tottenham beat Southampton 2-1. Wolves beat Watford 2-0. And Everton fell to Manchester City 3-1. And tomorrow, I think there's a fun match tomorrow. I think Arsenal and Manchester United are tomorrow. And if you want to try to get in some soccer... No, maybe not. When's that Arsenal match? Oh, Arsenal match on Monday. Anyway, check it out. All right, we got Ryan Bennett. John Okre needs uh, Johnny O. Has Tottenham Hotspur. He wants to see some Spurs heat in this break right there. There's Miguel Almiron. We'll sleeve and top load all of those before they get sorted out. There's Shane Duffy for Brighton. To 149. I think that's part of Brighton, I think, is part of that combo spot that we sold. It's Eric Bailey. Manchester United in a bit of a rebuild. That Arsenal Manchester United match on Monday. That's noon LA time, 3 o'clock East Coast time. So maybe something for you to. Well, Mid-afternoon soccer to check out if you want to try to get into this. A lot of value in this in this soccer. There's Christian Pulisic. So all of these in fun inserts and stuff will ship. There's James MacArthur. And nice uh, Christian Eriksen. 25 for Tottenham Hotspur. There you go. Nice gold for Johnny O. And there's Harvey Barnes, 99. John, how did you end up becoming a Tottenham Hotspur fan? Or supporter, as they call it out there. You have a favorite player on Tottenham? 
These team cards, I feel like, do pretty well on a secondary market. Who's got Burnley? Oh, I think that's part of the combo team spot for Jeremy Frisch. The combo teams include Brighton, Southampton, Bournemouth, Aston Villa, Burnley, Norwich, Sheffield, and Watford. So these team cards, I know, tend to do pretty well. Sadio Mane, Scorers Club. Toby Alderweireld to 199. Another one for Spurs. And the autograph is Adam Lalana. Who's got my club? Jim Morin with Liverpool. Nice. And that is 42 out of 50. Pretty good player. I guess I feel like health has always been an issue for Adam Lallana. Can't stay fit. When he's fit, pretty good. There's Divac Origi. Nice player for Liverpool. Liverpool has been without the services of their top goalkeeper, Allison, and they've still been able to to win matches, which is which is good. Big goal for them is to um, is to win the title this year. That's something that has eluded them since like the early '90s, kind of like my Dodgers. So. They won the Champions League last year. That was a big win for them. Big European tournament for them to win. So now I think the goal this year should be to try to win the title. Manchester City all, already stumbled a couple times, so that might have opened up a little bit of window for Liverpool to try to try to pip that title away from a strong and deep Manchester City team. All right, next box. This is pick your team four. And we got a gold, four out of 25, Craig Cath, uh, Cathcart for Watford. There's Danny Ings, Southampton, former Liverpool prospect. And Sean McGinn. There's Riyad Mahrez for Man City to 149. That'll be for Arthur Hackett. Matt Ryan. Different Matt Ryan. Andrew Robertson. And we've got, oh, that totally fooled me. John Flat thought there was going to be an autograph. There's Fred. There's Hyun Min Sun to 199. Korean international. Very popular in South Korea. And what do we have here? Are these more fake outs? Yes. There's a fake out. Is this a fake out? Yeah. That's not. 
Nice Mohamed Salah. 37 out of 75. Cracked ice. Prolific striker for Liverpool. There he is. Egyptian international. There's Mustafi for Arsenal. Jordan Henderson. I think he's England captain. I think Jordan Henderson. That's got to be an autograph. No, but it's nice though. Ben Godfrey. Fireworks insert. Two out of ten for uh, Norwich. The Canaries. And that'll be for that combo spot for uh, Jeremy Frisch. Where's our autograph? Maybe Mateo? There's Sissoko. And yes, there it is. Little Oppo Joe Mojo. Mateo Darmian for Manchester United. Jim Morin. Man United facing a bit of a bit of turmoil. Not sure if Ole Gunnar Sochar was the uh, the best managerial choice, but struggling a little bit at the moment. Big match for them on Monday against Arsenal. There's Joel Ward for Crystal Palace. There's the great man, United Keeper, David De Gea. That silver will go to Mark. No, check that. Jim Morin. I'm trying to save as many of these pull of six as possible for Chelsea. Jim Morin with that. That's the next big American star right there. He Will he be the man that leads us to glory? My guess is that our best shot, in, at least in, in, in the short term, is the North America World Cup. When's the next World Cup? I think 2022 is the next World Cup. So in 22 and 22, the World Cup's in Qatar, and it's also in the winter, which is, I don't know, which is kind of weird. It's usually a summer thing. I'm so used to it being, being in the summer. Having it in the winter is going to be odd. That's going to kind of mess up the Premier League schedule too because they usually don't do a winter break. And even, even some of the other European nations that do do winter breaks, like Germany and France, and I think Spain does a winter break, but their winter breaks, I think, are in late December, early January, something like that. So that's going to screw up all the European League schedules. Yeah, it's a bit of a fiasco, Josh Bruce. What are they going to do? Kind of a mess. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do, but that's when that World Cup is. Are we, Josh, are we going to that World Cup? I feel like there would be not too many reasons for me... To travel to the Middle East. I want to, but I don't know if I'm just going to be like, yeah, that's where I'm going to go. This. I wonder if the excuse of a World Cup may be enough for me to go to Qatar. You don't want to go to Qatar? I feel like it'd be kind of cool. But 2026, the next World Cup after Qatar in 2026, it's, uh, it's in North America. Canada, Mexico, and the United States will be hosting that. What I don't like about that is that the tournament, I think, is expanding to 48 teams then, Josh, which I think those early rounds are going to be kind of brutal. It'll be like some very small countries getting just absolutely destroyed <laughs> by bigger countries. But that's in the United States, folks. Or the, the Most of it's going to be in the United States. There'll be some matches in Canada and Mexico, but I think most of it's going to be in the U.S., 
and I'm looking for looking forward to that because I think that might be that's when Christian Pulisic will have a number of seasons under his belt. Nice Jordan Henderson Silver, and if that's the case, and we put a good team around him, develop some other young stars in the next four years or so. Could be our best shot. Yeah, I don't know what the EPL is going to do with that 2022 World Cup. Have they even announced anything? I feel like I haven't. And I, and I follow soccer a lot. I feel like I've not heard too many discussions about what plans are. I feel like they have to start planning now. A couple silvers there for Arsenal and Leicester City. No, they haven't, right? You haven't heard anything either, right? Yeah. What are they waiting for? <laughs> like, I would almost even start adjusting the schedule next year. Well, they should start adjusting the schedule this year and then a little more next year and then really change the schedule the following year so everyone, all the clubs just kind of get used to it. There's Jeff Hendrick for Burnley to 75. For the people you work, they're saying it's early? I feel like they should be figuring that out now, now, at least for clubs to get used to it. Otherwise, there's going to be the age-old complaint in England. Well, there's Lucas Fabianski for West Ham. That will be for Josh Proust. There you go, Josh. Um, I feel like it'd be the same old argument in England, where, they'll be, where, where all the English media will be like, "Ah, oh, the England not prepared." You know, all those players in a tough Premier League season gets burned out, and we didn't schedule properly. And now England, now England didn't work out, and there's another World Cup lost, and blah 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 blah. I feel like it'd be that that conversation all over again. Oh, Josh Bruce needs some Crystal Palace love as well. Crystal Palace with a nice win today. Chris Smalling to 149, Manchester United. Uh, so the running theories, the, the, the season before the next World Cup, the Qatar World Cup, will be will somehow be condensed, gotcha, by two to three weeks. All right, well, we'll see. Bonus autograph, David Luiz for Chelsea. That goes to Jim Morin. That's where Christian Pulisic plays. You can always tell David Luiz on the pitch by his kind of sideshow Bob kind of hair. There's Martin Kelly, former Liverpool guy who's on Crystal Palace now. There's Terry Mina. And kaboom! We didn't see it in the first half. There it is in the second half. That is Billy Sharp. Kaboom for, I believe, Sheffield United. Yep, that's the Sheffield United badge right there. Billy Sharp kaboom. That looks nice. Sheffield United, I think, is part of that combo list. It is. So Jeremy Frisch with the combo teams, congrats. You get the, uh, I believe this usually falls one per case. And it's on a slightly thicker cardstock as well. This is a 55 point top loader as opposed to the standard ones. We got uh, Iheanacho, 160 out of 199. Kalichi for Leicester City. There's Tim Cruel for Norwich. And there's Tom Heaton for Burnley. 11 out of 25. All right, three boxes to go.
Good luck, everybody. I think we have more, uh, I think we have Select Soccer in the store, ladies and gentlemen. Old 1617 Select Soccer, which features um, more of the other European teams, in addition to players in their international gear as well. So if you're into the international teams, give that a look. Good luck, everybody. There's Wes Morgan leading us off. There's Pulis again. Trying to save as many of those as possible. There's Allison. Keeper for my club, Liverpool. There's Bladock for Sheffield. There's Ryan Frazier for Bournemouth. 199. There's Johnny Castro to 75. Cracked ice. John Stones, Man City. We got Angus Gunn for Southampton. For the Wolves, to 149. Ruben Vinagre. There's Roberto Firmino. Incredible player for Liverpool. May not score a lot of those goals, but he's getting a lot of those like assists. Hockey assists too, like be like the guy that starts the play. John McGinn for Aston Villa. Yes, they have the same color scheme as Burnley. Very similar. David Brooks, Bournemouth. Marco Streiperman uh, for Norwich. And again, I love these team cards right here. Watford team card for the combo spot. It'll be for Jeremy Frisch. Silver as well. David Brooks for Bournemouth. And we got Vicente uh, Guita. Guaita. 47 out of 99. Crystal Palace. Josh Proust with that one. We got Adam Lalana. The two colors right there. And for Chelsea. Wow. It's old Peter Cech. Flashback autographs. Longtime keeper for Chelsea. Jim Morin with that one. There's Kieran Freeman to 149. All right, and just two boxes to go. Good luck, everyone. So the Next World Cups 2020, the next major tournament would be, I would say, the Euros, the 2020 Euros, which feature all of the, it's like basically the World Cup, but just all the European teams, which often make up the bulk of the uh, 
of the World Cup anyway, so it's a pretty good tournament to watch. Actually, qualifiers are happening now. When is the next one? No, it will be next year. Yeah, next summer. Where are they doing it? Oh, this is the one. I'm not sure how. I mean, we'll see how this works out. But this is the one where this will be hosted in several nations across Europe to celebrate the 60th birthday, I guess, of the European Championship competition. And Wembley in London is planned to host the semifinals and the final. So we'll see how that works out. There was a bit of a mess with the, I think it was the, so there's two major European cups for the, for the club teams, right? There's the Champions League, which you see on TNT, and um, see on TNT, and then you'll see uh, what you call it. Uh, Steve Nash will do like the, will do like some of the commentary there. Stop, <laughs> Daniel. Welcome back. So there's like an NIT type type tournament. So it's not the big tournament, the secondary tournament, right? It's called the, um, I guess they call it the Europa Cup. I think they might still call that. I don't know, the sponsorships change all the time. But there is the final there was like in some, where was it? Was it like in Azerbaijan or something like that? A place that was super hard to get to. And it was just a, it was just a bit of a cluster because like two big clubs ended up in the final and then, you know, it was impossible to get like, um, I don't know, it was just impossible to get like tickets there. You had to fly, stop at two different airports to get there and blah, 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 blah. So I'm not sure how they're going to handle, um, I'm not sure how they're going to handle the, uh, the Euros when it goes on like that. Nice, Daniel. We'll be able to get able to get to that in a couple hours. And remember, Daniel and everybody else, we still have to fill up the other number block and sell out the team straight up for that break to happen. So that'll just be a randomizer video. There's Eric Lamella for Johnny O and the Spurs, the 199. Nice, AJ. Wait, which, which jersey did you get? Remind me. It's Dale Stevens. Score Club Harry Kane. There is Mikhail Antonio. There is Issa Diop. Oh, Marshawn Lattimore, a Jason pull for you. Nice. Stuart Armstrong. Yeah, those jerseys look nicer in person, don't they? I think all of this stuff does. I know we have we I I, I we pride ourselves on having some pretty Pretty solid production quality here, but all this stuff looks even even better in person if you're lucky enough to get something. It's very cool. And 149 Jack Relish for Aston Villa. The villains, as their rivals will call them. Phil Jones, Manchester United, to 99. And there's our autograph coming up. And it's going to be one out of five. Wow. 
It's an Allison and Jordan Henderson dual autograph for my club, Liverpool. Jim Morin. That is a nice hit. Got the keeper and the midfielder right there. One out of five. Nice. Jim, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That is strong. All right, last box coming up. Good luck. I wonder what that'll go for on a secondary market. Out of five, Allison is a, you know, won the, uh, I forget what they call it, Golden Gloves, I think, for the best keeper in, in the English Premier League. Jordan Henderson, England captain, and plays on one of the biggest clubs in England. Allison plays for Brazil, <laughs> so he's pretty good. And it's out of five. Anyone want to venture a guess on value? I don't know if anything like that's even on secondary market right now. Maybe it is. All right, we'll save another one of those pull of six. Our great hope. And nice, Chelsea, Jim Morin. The Chelsea team card. Some of those team cards and those stadium cards can go for a lot more than one may think. I think I've seen some for like 20, 30 bucks. Maybe some of the bigger clubs might be more than that. John Egan, 75, not bad for an insert. That goes to Sheffield United. And our last autograph is going to be another one for Liver. Is this an autograph? It is. Rian Brewster. One of the youngsters for Liverpool. A lot of young players, but he's, he's even younger. A great break for Liverpool. There he is. The youth moving right there. So could be a nice addition for Liverpool. I'm not sure if he's been getting minutes, but he may probably get some minutes maybe in cup competitions like FA Cup. They've got two tournaments that run concurrently with the regular season, which I think is something that the NBA could and should do. The stadium cards are tough pulls, this, Josh. I remember we pulled at Anfield one a break or two ago, Liverpool Stadium, but I don't remember any others since then. There's Mesut Ozil, silver for Arsenal, Mark Matheson. There's uh, Musa Sissoko to 149, one of the key players for Tottenham. Josh, have you seen the new Spurs Stadium? I don't know if in your travels you have gone across it. I hear it's amazing. They finally opened that stadium for Tottenham Hotspur, and apparently it's class. You've been there? Is it cool? Is the is that Raiders Colts? Not Raiders Colts. I think whatever London game that Raider, the Raiders are playing, I think it's there. 
in not tomorrow, but in two weeks. There's Sissoko again, 75. All right, there's Jeffrey Schult. All right, thanks, Daniel. We'll, we'll get to those a little bit later tonight. There's Fabianski again for Weston. DeAndre Yedlin, Lazzini. It's on par with a top-notch NFL stadium, says Josh. Nice. All right, folks. And I think that, unless there's another parallel, there is James Ward-Prowse. To 199 for Southampton. And that, my friends, is that. Thank you very much for watching. That was 1920 Panini Prism English Premier League Soccer. Pick your team, number four, from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.